Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshar Today I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe. And sincere apologies, I couldn't post the solution of today's Leetwood problem in the morning as it was a, a working day for me. I just came back from office and I thought of completing this exercise because I know somewhere some one of the subscriber is waiting for this video solution. I don't want to break his or her consistency. And here I present partitioning into minimum number of deci binary numbers, lead code 1689. It's a medium level question on lead code. However, I feel it's an easy question. Why I am saying this? Let's try to understand it first. We are given a string that represents a positive decimal number. We need to return the minimum number of positive deci binary numbers needed so that they sum up to n. And how do you define a deci binary number? It will only contain 0 or 1 without any leading zeros. For example, 101, 1100 are deci binary numbers, while 112, 3001 are not. So, here they are provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So, let's quickly hop on to it. Partitioning into number of deci binary numbers, lead code 1689. In case if any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, what is the way out? We have coding decoded telegram group or discord server. Both the links are stated below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your queries up. So let's get started with understanding the question again. Uh, what we need to return, we need to return the minimum number of positive deci binary numbers such that they sum up to n. And how do we define a deci binary number? It contains 0 or 1 without any leading zeros. So uh, here I have written down few more examples of deci binary number 101011111111011 and kindly note that this is not a deci binary number because it has a leading zero in it. Now if I ask you guys what is the one digit largest deci binary number that can be generated it is simply one. What is a two digit largest deci binary number that exists it's double one what is three digit largest deci binary number that exists it's triple one and if you have understood this much then you have understood the entire algorithm why i am saying this let's hop on to an example let's consider the case where the value of n that is given in the question happens to be 149 what is the length of n the length of n is 3 so the largest three digit deci binary number that exists is triple one so the first number that we will be using so as to sum those together up in order to generate 149 would be triple one and what is the remaining value 149 minus triple one gives you 38 so now we need to account for only 38 and the first number that we identified is triple one let's proceed ahead what is the length of 38 the length of 38 is 2 the largest two digit decimal binary number happens to be 11 so the second number that would be, we would be considering in order to arrive at a sum of 149 is 11. What is the remaining value? It is 27. So let's proceed ahead. Again the length happens to be 2. We will again be using 11 and the remaining value turns out to be 16. Let's proceed ahead. Next again we will be using 11 and the remaining value that turns out to be is 5. So the length of 5 happens to be 1. And the largest one digit deci binary number is 1. What is the remaining value? The remaining value is 4. Let's proceed ahead. Next, again we will be using 1. The remaining value turns out to be 3. Again we will be using 1. The remaining value turns out to be 2. Again we will be using 1. The remaining value turns out to be 1. And finally, the last number that we will be considering is 1 again. The remainder gets, the remaining value gets updated to 0. That means we have successfully reached the total sum of 149. And how many numbers were needed in this process? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if you carefully analyze this up, this is equal to the largest digit that exists in your input number. Therefore, the problem reduces to iterating over the input nums and identifying the largest digit that exists in that input. Here in this case, it turns out to be 9. And we can say that 9 times 1 would be needed in order to reach a total of 9. And this is the crux of the problem. The coding part is really simple. And let's walk through it in order to conclude the question now. So what I have done here, I have considered an answer variable. And I iterate over the num string. 
I extract each character one by one and I compare it with the previously value stored, the previous value stored in ANS. And once iteration is done, I simply return the ANS variable. So let's try this off. Accepted. It's 63 percent faster. It's pretty good. The time complexity of this approach happens to be equal to the length of string s, and the space complexity is constant time. With this, let's wrap up today's session. And don't forget to check out Coding Decoded SD Revision Sheet. What I'm talking about? Let me just tell you again. So I have created Coding Decoded SD Preparation Sheet, which covers most of the important topics that are asked in interviews, which most of the students find difficult. For example, dynamic programming, graph, tries, binary search, backtracking, bit manipulation, monotonic stacks, two pointer, sliding window, heaps, maps, and priority queues. So if you go and check out these playlists, then you will see that the first one happens to be the template, which states the algorithm behind all the backtracking questions. So I would urge you guys to go through this template first and then apply this over the rest of the questions in the increasing order of complexity, starting from easy, medium to hard. And I promise once you will go through it, the backtracking concept would be on your tips. Similarly, for the rest of the playlist as well. So over to you guys, the hard work is all yours. If I can create a video for all of you after my office hours, then you can also get motivated from it. A little effort is needed and I promise once you will start putting that effort, you will get the results that you have never thought of in your life. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.